Hello readers of The Trombonist and welcome to another President's Toolkit. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about buzzing. Now the usual thing we do is we start our day of practice, we open the case, we take the mouthpiece out first and then we do a little bit of buzzing. But I quite often speak to students and there's not much thought that goes in behind this. They just do it, it's just habit, that's what they've learned to do over the, over the years. Now, buzzing is obviously quite a different resistance to when we play the trombone, and I've experimented by going long periods without doing any buzzing and simply taking the trombone out of the case, putting it together and going straight into my practice. Um, I think it's a very important thing to be able to do this. I think sometimes we can rely too much on the habits, such as taking the mouthpiece out and doing some buzzing, and sometimes we aren't afforded that luxury. So it's a very good idea to practice not buzzing, as it were. Um, the more I think about buzzing, um, the more I found it useful for very specific um, activities. So if I've had a big blow the night before, um, I will tend to do a few almost warm down exercises at the start of my practice. So something like this, where I'm simply buzzing down a couple of octaves to go right into the pedal range. Oh. Oh. And you can see I'm actually taking the bottom lip off the mouthpiece then, so it's just the first, the top lip that is connected to the mouthpiece. And this is to really just try and encourage the blood to flow around the lips and really relax them and, and try and get them to a point where I start my practice from every day. That's a really important thing. So we're starting from exactly the same point every time we pick up the trombone. And obviously that's a lot harder if we've had a tough blow um, the night before. Another idea that's really good for buzzing is if you've got a piece that you're learning and you're trying to um, really learn some new pitches, a new shape of a phrase, that sort of thing, and it's quite hard on the trombone sometimes, and it's a good idea to just do it on the mouthpiece um, so that we can really hear the intervals and make sure we're, we're blowing the air through those intervals so the trombone's almost not helping us to do it, that we're doing it in a very pure form on the mouthpiece. That's a very useful um, tool to, to do. Um, and the other thing um, that I find the mouthpiece buzzing really good for is actually not at the start of your practice. And this is something that I quite often do half an hour into my practice, and that is to work on sound. And to do this, I do very quiet buzzing. So usually when we take the mouthpiece out of the case, we put loads of air down it at the start of the day. We just want to get everything working really freely, free air, lots of vibration. Um, but actually, if you set some time aside in your main bit of practice and um, just to do a little bit of quiet buzzing. I find this a really good way of working on your sound because by buzzing quietly, it allows you to really focus on the vibration you're getting between your lips. And the more vibration we can get on the air column, the better our sound will be. So um, try that. I found it probably one of the most useful, um, one of the most useful techniques um, in the last few years has been to include some quiet buzzing in my practice and I found it a really really good tool so give that a go. Um, any questions let me know and uh, I'll see you at the next one.